Women Innovators. Interviews with women with big messages and big missions, sharing their stories to inspire you to live your passion and step up to make the world a better place. Here's your host, Tammy Patzer. Hi, everyone. This is Tammy Patzer, and I'm really excited because today we have the laughter liberator pioneer in our midst, and it just makes you want to smile. And her name is Brigitte Kane, and she is a pioneer in the laughter lifestyle. She's an international bestseller with Courage Under Siege, and the new book, The Law of Brand Attraction. And she also has a group on Facebook called The Laughter Lounge Global. So welcome. Thank you. (laughs) This is a really good time to, to be laughing. And before we went on the air, I was saying how I hadn't felt good lately because I sit too much and I don't laugh enough. And that's what you're all about. So tell me more. What are the benefits of a laughter lifestyle? Well, laughter, you grew up, we all grew up with laughter is the best medicine, right? Yeah. So what do we do with medicine? We take it. But laughter got really uh, some some a wrong vibe, some a bad rap because sometimes we think, oh, laughter is so superficial, or it's inappropriate, or we don't have anything to laugh about. But <laughs> actually, we do because I think laughter is our superpower. And laughter has benefits for us on a physical, on the emotional, on the spiritual, and on the social level. Wow, it's it's a quadruple force because it, yes, exactly, the- exactly, it is. And uh, well, I do believe that we are actually born laughing. You know, uh, when a baby is born. Right. What do we wait? What is the first developmental lifestyle of the baby? Smiles. Because yes. I, I have a brand new, well, she's two months old now, but oh my goodness, when she smiled at me for the first time, oh my goodness, that baby has me wrapped around her fingers just because <laughs> she smiled at me. That's right. And, and so kids say they continue to laugh. It, uh, so uh, a three-year-old, a typical three-year-old, how often do you think a three-year-old laughs? I don't know, but more than an adult does. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they laugh more than uh, three, four hundred times a day. Wow. And laughing. <laughs> right. right. And, and uh, then it's uh, how often do you think adults laugh? Sometimes probably not, not zero, probably Ex- 20. I don't know. Exactly. Sometimes they do zero. So the average is about 10, less than 10 times a day. And that, of course, means you, when you're laughing a little bit more, you are not the average. <laughs> and uh, I actually did a uh, presentation in India at a college. And uh, after the presentation was over, we sat together in um, and just just in in the faculty lounge and just you know went over how it went and everything. And this one professor, I think he was a professor of geology. He just stood up and he said, "You know, today I laughed the first time in ten years. Wow, in ten years." So. I didn't know if I should feel happy about it or if I should feel sad because he had a life for 10 years without laughter. That does say a lot. If, if I mean, I, I honestly don't know that I laugh every single day, but I do notice that there are some television shows where I'll laugh 
out loud when I'm watching them and, and I'll, you know, chuckle if I see something funny, but wow, can you imagine not laughing for 10 years? I, it's hard to believe that you could even do that. That's <laughs> yeah. it to be a natural respond to things that are good. Or sometimes even when you hurt yourself, you might laugh. <laughs> I've done that. Well, because laughing is actually a coping mechanism, uh, among other things. Uh, there are so many benefits, physical benefits of laughter. Like, for example, you cannot be stressed when you're laughing. Do you know that? Your body absolutely cannot be stressed. Because it has to concentrate on the last thing. And when your body is laughing, right, then it just relaxes. And uh, when we are under stress, which causes right, almost 90 to 95% of our, all our diseases, uh, then our body thinks that a white Tiger is, or, you know, whatever tiger is chasing us, chasing us, chasing us, chasing us. And we need to get away from the tiger. And so our body shuts down everything, including our brain, including our, uh, and our digestion. And it only keeps up what is really, really important. And that's why when we hear that people have this, this supernatural power, that's exactly what we have through stress, right? That our body has this reaction and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. But most times there is no tiger. There is no danger. And our body still has the same reaction. And it uses all the uh, hormones up that it has, and, and then it becomes weaker and weaker and weaker, and that's why we're having stress. And so one of the important things is that if you are stressed, laugh. I love it, because I've laughed more in the, just since we've been on the phone than I have <laughs> in days, so I, I, I love it. So, yeah, it's cool. And, you know, my way of laughter but I is... I promote to laugh just because we want to laugh. So I don't have anything against jokes, comedy, humor, funny things. That's okay. Uh, but we can, we don't have to rely on those things. We can just decide to laugh anytime. Like, for example, I can laugh right now. <laughs> And it's contagious. <laughs> so you laugh with me. <laughs> so, so when you laugh, that that is something like like you said, you can create, you can make yourself laugh at any time. So so is it something like you know how they say, okay, like for example, I set the timer to remind me to get up and walk away from my computer. Can you, I mean, what would you recommend to get your daily dose of laughter? What is a healthy dose of laughter every day for someone? Obviously it needs to be something because if a child is laughing three to 400 times a day, naturally, and as we grow up and we're, we can go for 10 years without laughing and that stress response. What is a healthy amount of laughter and what, like you said, you can laugh at, at any time. Um, what is the, the healthy amount of laughter? Well, uh, this is, you know, um, depends really on the circumstances, but let me just tell you that 10 minutes, 10 minutes of deep belly laughter is as much as half an hour of any other ex aerobic exercise. So it's, it's like a jogging for your intestines and it's a massage for your organs. 
and you use uh, muscles that usually are not used. Um, so laughter, laughter is good for your immune system. It strengthens your immune system. Uh, it has physical physical effects like it's uh, it relaxes your body. It helps you to bring more uh, oxygen to your brain. Uh, it helps your breathing. Uh, it lowers your blood pressure. And there's a whole bunch. I, I have over 100, literally 100 benefits. Wow. Laughter. Well, just lowering your blood pressure would be very good because that would put less stress on your vital organs, like like your lungs and your heart and kidney. So that's good. Exactly. So you said 10 minutes of belly laughs or, or laughing is equivalent to a half an hour of aerobic exercise. Do you have to do it the whole 10 minutes all at once? Well, I don't think you can really laugh for 10 minutes uh, without them. But what I do is I, I I teach exercises and I lead people uh, through exercises so that, uh, you know, just laughing for no reason uh, has to be uh, learned a little bit because some of us feel very awkward. Uh, but you know what? We all have laughter in us. That's why I'm saying we are born with laughter because we all have been this little child who, who has been laughing. And sometimes, you know, there's some cobwebs and some dirt and, you know, it's, it's, it's deeply ingrained in us and we, it needs to be rediscovered. But it is there. And if we could just think about stress, you know, stress, what, whatever we're dealing with, we, I say that if we can laugh about it, we can deal with it. Like if I have this huge bill, right? I can either cry or be so sad. Or I can just laugh about it. Really? <laughs> really? I still have to pay it, right? So uh, you might as well feed your body and and the other thing is that it's very very social laughter connects no matter who we are and who we are laughing with we can even laugh you know if you even would have an enemy or somebody you can get along with but if you are laughing there is a bond and uh, that bond it's, it's more difficult to break. Uh, in India, for example, there is laughter in, um, in the co- in curriculum in some states uh, in the school, and they have found that children who laugh, who in this curriculum, children, right, even children, uh, they do better on tests and they're emotional intelligent improves and uh, so in in some schools they regularly laugh you know like how we take breaks <laughs> we give our kids they give kids an opportunity to laugh yeah wow so how did you get interested in laughter and and how did you decide okay this is my life's mission to help people learn how to laugh again. Well, you know, I, I I call it laughter liberation because this is actually what happened to me. I whatever I teach, whatever I'm talking about, I have experienced it, and I want to pass this on to people. But so what happened? I uh, in an earlier part of my life, I was a pastor and I had a church congregation and uh, one of my congregation members came up to me and said oh pastor, pastor i need to tell you something my mother is a completely different person she has changed and uh, so i said well tell me more and then she was telling me about this laughter that had just started uh in india there was a doctor his name is dr kataria might have heard about it and uh, you might have heard about laughter yoga 
1995, he was a medical doctor, and he did uh, research on uh, the benefits of laughter. And then he thought, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, this could help my patients. And so he started in 1995 with uh, five people, five people. And now it is, the movement is in more than 100 countries and has uh, thousands of thousands of members of laughing clubs. And uh, that's basically, we all do the same thing. And uh, so uh, when I looked at this a little bit, and, and then I told my uh, member, I said, you know, wow, that's amazing. Tell me more. And she said, hey, do you want to have that at church? Can we do this at church every week? And I said, okay, why not? And uh, so that's how it started. And then uh, how things happen. I mean, I don't necessarily believe in coincidences. <laughs> but one day I opened the newspaper. This was in New York State, Fishkill, New York. And I read that Dr. Kataria, the person who actually started the laughter movement uh, in India, is coming to Fishkill. <laughs> is coming for a personal visit. But he is open to the public if, if anybody wants to come. And so, of course, I had to come. Right? <laughs> and um, so we talked. And then he invited me to come to Canada to be trained as a facilitator. And uh, that was like more than 20 years ago. I have been working with Dr. Kataria via friends. I have been in India because um, I wanted to see how this is done in its originally, you know, in its original settings. And uh, I have been, uh, you know, very, having had, had a very hard time, I have had three children and I didn't know my life was just not going the way how I wanted to and have problems in my marriage. And uh, so laughing, you know, I, would, I couldn't even do that because I took myself so seriously. You know, everything, everything was serious. Everything was a drama. And <laughs> so learning to stand back and to look at myself a little bit different, to learn how to laugh about things changed my life it changed really everything the way how I looked at myself the way how I looked at others you know because I felt I could be much more compassionate and believe it or not I had these kids and my kids they were laughing all the time but I didn't pay attention to it you know, it's it's just one of these things that you just, you know, that you just assume. And, and so that's how I started getting into laughter. That, that's really phenomenal because isn't it amazing that of all the places that that doctor went, it was to fish kill New York. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, things, things like that happen to me all the time. <laughs> so, I'm just thinking, well, gee, isn't that interesting that someone you wanted to meet, you know, what came right to you. It was like you were a magnet for, for <laughs> that. So if if somebody like me, and we're sitting here going, wow, I want to laugh more. What are some, besides just laughing, how do you be more... Um, I guess, aware uh, of needing to laugh more? And how do you get started so that you can literally laugh in yourself into a new life? Well, the only thing that you need is to be willing to do that. Willing to be laughing. Um, 
and uh, eventually, eventually, it will just come on because every time, every time, like when we laugh, you feel better. You absolutely feel better. It uh, so it has immediate immediate uh, effects. And yes, if something is funny and and you're laughing, actually we. You know, we do a lot of laughing with our friends. Like it's, it's, it's just a social thing. Uh, but you can just decide, well, you, you just go little, you can go just little. <laughs> so you just start very little. And you know, this is actually a time when you can fake it till you make it. Because your body really doesn't care if you are real or not. Your brain doesn't know. So you can laugh. You know, you can make it to laugh it. And then if you look at me, then eventually you have to laugh, right? Or if you look at each other, because this is really a, an uh, interactive exercise, right? Uh, so because we are one to have fun because by by having fun we, we it gives us a moment to retreat from what we're dealing with and we can look at it actually literally differently that's why i say that the results of laughter are immediate uh because so before our body cannot be stressed while we're laughing wow so that's really phenomenal <laughs> Exactly. And and then I'm saying, okay, so laughter has absolute the possibility to, to transform our lives. Absolutely. And we just, you know, we like to get into therapy. We like to take some medications. We like to go to the gym. We like to do whatever we need to do instead of what we really have looking at what we have like you you could go in the morning and a lot of people actually do that and i actually teach that uh, you can look at the you know at the mirror and, and you can just smile at yourself and say hello tammy how are you today <laughs> exactly and hey tammy let me see this smile <laughs> Uh, and uh, you know, and and then there's different ways we can even smile quietly. Right? We can just not make any noise. We can just just be quiet and smile. <laughs> so not to wake anybody up, or sometimes it's really not too appropriate to like at a funeral. You don't want to go out and you know and play out, out laughing. So you just get yourself to maybe to the bathroom or to some place, and 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 you know, and and then you can laugh, or and and just chuckle or say because then you you are already um, you know using some parts parts of your face, and when you laugh. You use over fifty different muscles in you know in in your face, and very soon I'm going to have on my website. Please, uh, if you know, uh, if you if you join my uh, my website, then um, there will be benefits of laughter, and I will outline actually a uh, ten benefits. No, 20, I think it's 20 benefits for the body, for the emotions, for spirit, and for social, for, for the world. Because, uh, you know, if, if we could just all laugh, just think, if we could laugh instead of having guns, oh my God. <laughs> we, we would change the world. And actually, one of my dreams is to cause a laughter pandemic. A global laughter pandemic. 
Uh, so I am uh, starting a, a community where we are all connected. We are cheering for each other and we are practicing the laughter lifestyle because what happens when, you know, when we are changing, how, how are we going to live? Well, you know, we have a lifestyle. So a lot of things, I mean, how, how do we continue to, la- to live? Right. And uh, so uh, that's one thing I am teaching people to is, is that, you know, for example, the importance of forgiveness, uh, the importance of self-love and appreciation, uh, you know, uh, the importance of uh, paying it forward and different suggestions on how we can improve, how we can have more love and more laughter in our lives. Um, wow. Uh, well, I'll tell you the time we've spent together. I've I have laughed more. You also have the Laughter Lounge Global Facebook group. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is this is where our community is coming together, and this is where I post uh, things and actually some. Um, members uh posts to and, and where we want to talk and uh you know i for example i am a uh, cooperating with somebody uh who uh, works with children <laughs> and so how to be childlike right and um so i have this whole uh series of laughing and and it's it's like i want to show you that we don't have to take ourselves so serious and if i can be really silly (laughs) then i give you permission to be silly too i give you permission to play and to sing and to yeah to use your secret uh weapon your your secret superpower which is laughter. Because do you know, for example, do you ever get really upset at somebody? I know. You yeah. know. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and you don't want, and say, oh gosh, I hope, I hope I'm not losing it. So, you know, then you could do something what I call gibberish and nobody could understand you. And if I really, I'm going to follow my and so I get rid of what I need to get rid of, but I am not really spewing out words that I regret later on. And actually, if you want to have a conversation with me, you can do that too. And this is called chipperish. And you know, chipperish is, is something so easy. It is something, it's, it's just a language that doesn't make sense. And babies, babies have a language like that. And because it doesn't make sense, you, you know, it takes away some of your, you know, self consciousness because you, you know, you can be silly. So I can even, you know, I can even sing it. Right, and I don't have. I mean, I actually never ever had a singing voice, (laughs) but with this voice, we all can sing. And when we are laughing together, it sounds like a symphony. Uh, We can create a symphony for parents with their children at work, like when we are really stressed at work, right? We cannot really be protective because one thing that happens when this tiger, when our body thinks this tiger is chasing us, it shuts down some of our brain, like our thinking brain, our creative brain. The only part of the brain that is left is our primitive, uh, some people call it reptilian bra- uh, brain because we need to get in uh, safety from this tiger or whatever is chasing, is chasing us. So we cannot think. We cannot be creative. 
it is totally impossible to be creative when you are under stress, when you are under fright, when you are scared, when you know, and and you have all these isms with you. You know, you are you are so afraid and um. Out of you know, like especially right now, what's going on in the world? You know, I am just here just to tell you, Tammy, and everybody who's hearing this. Just, just relax for a little bit. Breathe, breathe. Our breath. We are the most amazing machines. Engines in the world. We are unique, and I am telling everybody. You know, we are often our own worst enemies. How about being our friends? How about you know, instead of us uh, beating up on ourselves? Just showing some compassion, you know, uh, because we, with our friends, we wouldn't let them be, you know, we wouldn't be really mean to them, right? But we can do this to ourselves. Oh, you, you know, whatever word we say, how, how could you act like this again? Well, how could we, how about if we go back to our child to our own little child that we were inside and say you know i love you you know you are such a great human being there's so many good things about you and i want you to have a good time and let's just play let's just talk and yes let me love myself let me you know, let me just relax. Wow. Does that make sense? Does that make that's, sense? That, that's really um, beautiful. And I just want to remind everyone that it's your Facebook group is the Laughter Lounge Global. And that is on Facebook, of course. And before I let you go, is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, I just want to tell you that there are, you know, occasional programs I'm running and one was a laughter son where we laughed for, for three weeks because it takes 21 days to make, you know, to, to get a habit three times a day. And we had people from the U.S. We had people from uh, Great Britain. We had people from Holland. Uh, and we have people from uh, Wales, we have people from Ireland, and we have people from uh, Germany, and we had people from India. So that's why I'm talking about global. It's my, my message for you, friends, is that you are special. You are unique. The world needs you. And uh, come and join our laughter club because discover laughter because we all have laughter in us. And I am actually uh, your joy partner who uh, helps you through creative and uh, supportive solutions to reconnect with yourself to live a happier and more joyful life. And, uh, yeah, so I wish we had more time, uh, but please, you know where you can get me. And uh, I, I love to speak to any size groups, uh, you know, business people in prison. I have, I have been doing it all. So... Uh, it was such a privilege to be here today and to spread the news and to make you laugh and hopefully also everybody who was watching. <laughs> and yes, join, 
you know what, join the Laughter Lounge Global and send me a little message and tell me what I could do for you. What, you know, what would make you a little bit happier, what you could use in your life. And, uh, you know, you have come home, you have come to the right group. And fun is actually fun co and community are two of my guiding principles. Uh, and the other one is lifestyle, because I believe we are learning best and we are at our best when we are having fun. And so fun we should have, because fun does not depend on the outside. Fun depends on the inside. And our laughter is the language of the soul, and it is your superpower. So, and you cannot be stressed. So next time you're stressed, just laugh. <laughs> and it's been I so love cool. it. So thank you so much for spending this time with me. And, and I, I'm really happy that, that I got to laugh in the last um, half an hour with you. So everyone go to the Laughter Lounge Global on Facebook and check in. And this is Tammy Patzer. Go make it a beautiful day. You've been listening to Women Innovators with Tammy Patzer. To learn more, please go to womeninnovatorsradio.com. And please do subscribe and share to spread the big messages and big missions to change the world.